in the second day of COVID. Uh, I caught it over the weekend, apparently. But thankfully, my symptoms haven't been too severe. And I've been able to continue working on this project. But anyway, here we go. Check out this. This is a, this is a PNG, or no, it's a JPEG of a table. And what I want to do is make a make remake this table within Adobe Illustrator. Now, normally that would entail, you know, making some cells like so, you know, uh, bringing them down. like like so and then putting in all the text boxes um you know i mean there's, there's multiple ways that you can actually do this but i like to use um overlord which is a way of throwing all these shapes and stuff into after effects afterwards which is why i need separate um you'll i'll need separate layers of text and shapes anyway that will take me a while i don't want to do it like that i want it to be quick i want it to be easy so the only thing that is going to take a while is grabbing all this data from this picture now there's a couple ways that we can get around this there is a thing called text sniper which if used correctly grab all the data and if we just you know voila um, it does a pretty good job of grabbing the data from the picture and putting it and making it text. It's all right. Uh, so that's one way we can do it. Um, and here we've got uh, math picks, yeah, math picks snipping tool. So it does a really good job of getting a screenshot of a table and making a TSV file of it. Uh, so with that, we can kind of do the exact same thing. Voila, we get all the get all the data pretty pretty quickly. It's not going to be perfect, but we have all the data there. Uh, anyway, once we have all the data from here, I can download a CSV, and now I have the CSV. There's my test CSV two. Right? Okay, so I've got all the data that I want. It's in a CSV file now. Uh, this finally is my tool. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this and set. You can set the, uh, the color of the cell shape, the width, the gap between the cells. Um, you can set the, the font styles. Basically I've written something here. So, uh, you know, you put in Rob. Robo, it'll look at your fonts and see what they can find. All right, so it's got Roboto, and here are the styles for Roboto. Um, and here we can just put yeah, that's good. Okay, so that's going to be the title. Row, we'll just put countries. Um, these are the hex codes for the colors, and we'll just import the data. We've got 12 rows, six columns. And so, if I'm happy with all of this, and I know that the let, let's say the, the colors and fonts and the cell gaps, all that kind of stuff, I know that. I'm going to have to be creating a lot of these tables. They're all going to have the same colors. They're all going to have the same fonts. They're all going to have the same gaps. So you can save this as a preset. It'll save all this information for you. Uh, then you can load it up later on if you need it. Um, you can also set it as your default if you want. Um, now, so once you get all your um, stuff, confirm. And voila. Let table is built. Now, here you can see that this is really kind of compressed all the um, text here. 
So I've also done this, which is a kind of table editor and it allows you to kind of amend the table to your will. I want this entire column to be that thin. So that's how thin it is. Um, and you can do it to more than one. I want I want all of these to be that thin, really. Um, and you don't have to do it with the top row. You could do it with the bottom row. Uh, and table. Yeah. So that's just slightly. Um, the only thing is you need to do it to the shape, not the text layer. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, that is, um, and see here you've got all the layers. They've all kind of been labeled as such. Um, so that's row one, column two, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, One last thing I'll show you is... Um, you can do it here as well, but I'll show you an edit table. If you forget to group, I can group by column if I want. And it'll just group all the cells by column or row. Cool. Well, I hope you found that enlightening. Uh, I certainly had fun, um, you know, making it. Um... Yeah, here is the here is the code. Um, I did it. <coughs> uh, here's the code. Yeah, so it's about it's about what two thousand lines of code, um, most of which is just the user interface. To be honest, um, yeah. Um, super impressed. Cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.